Hi guys, it's Daryl C and welcome to my YouTube channel. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Daryl. As you can see from the title of the video, I am doing my makeup today. So this is the look that I did. So ipapakita ko sa inyo guys today kung ano yung mga ginagamit kong product, tapos kung paano ko siyang gamitin, ganun. Please guys, bear with me because this is my first vlog. This is my first time filming. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Hi! So nandito ako ngayon sa banyo namin. Um, meron kasi ginagawa dun sa kwarto ko. So hindi ako makapag na kasi... Masyadong maingay. Nagpupupukpok ang mga tao. Ginagawa yung wall ng bahay. Kasi merong medyo may sira dun sa beside ng room ko. But anyways, dito ko gagawin yung makeup ko for today. Kasi may lakad ako ngayon. So, set up ko na yung camera para ready to go na tayo. Ang una kong gagawin, ilagay ito. So, ilalagay natin to para hindi nakaharang yung buhok natin. Riko! Forehead check! <laughs> Na-moisturize ko na yung face ko kanina. Kaya, ang gagawin na lang natin is diretso na tayo sa foundation. Actually, before my foundation, Tatry ko pala yung napanood ko sa TikTok na hack nila. Kasi para kapag may mga spots kayo or like, you know, blemishes sa mukha, you wanna use the um, concealer first. So, ang gamit ko for my concealer is yung Tarte Shape Tape. Ayan. Ang oh, makikita nyo siya. So, ayan. Bukas ba siya? So, ang gamit kong shade is 29N Light Medium. So, that's what I'm using. Kung makikita nyo, marami akong blemishes. Mga spots. Kasi, yun yung napag-iwanan ng pimple ko. Gising na ako. Pero, yun nga, ayan. So, kukovera natin yung mga spots natin na gusto natin kalimutan. Spots na gusto natin i-cover, diba? Para hindi halata. Sabi sa TikTok, they will just leave this for like a couple of minutes. Then, that's when you put your foundation. So, you're just gonna leave this. So, you're not gonna blend it or anything. So, yeah, ganyan lang. So, may nakalimutan ako. Parang siya, may nakalimutan ako. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Tapos niyan, iwanan lang natin ng couple minutes. For my foundation, I will just use um, this Bare Minerals. So, ayan siya. Ayan. Tapos, ito yung gamit kong shade. Nag-focus ba? Gamit kong shade is Silk 14. Ayan. Parang ito yung in-between ng summer at winter. So, dahil kaka-start lang din naman ng Summer, medyo okay pa talaga siya. So, I'll just put some. Tapos, i-blend lang natin. The good thing with this foundation is it's very light, but you can also, like, build it. In simple word, buildable siya, which is good. That's what I want, to be honest. Kasi sometimes my days na talagang gusto mo lang ng light. So, di ba naghintay ta ng 2 minutes, so okay na yan. So, ayan yung itsura niya. Medyo kita pa rin yung ano, pero okay lang. Pag-oxidize pa siya, so medyo light siya ngayon. Para naman sa kilay ko, ito gagamitin ko brush. Alam, medyo luma na siya eh. Pero ito yung brush na galing sa MAC, um, number 266. So, if you guys looking for a very thin brush that you want to use for your eyebrows, this is actually a perfect one because it's so thin and it's so precise when you use it. So, it's really good. You can have those like very thin strokes that you can use to get that eyebrow kind of stroke look. Ito, matagal na to sa akin. I've been using this for years. Basta, years na. And sobrang tagal niya maubos. Kaya tingnan nyo, 
Nakakaawa na yung itsura niya. Kita niyo ba yung edges niya? Diba? Kakaawa. This is the Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color Brow Shaper and Eyeliner in shade Sable 3. So, yan. Ito yung gamit ko. Medyo dark brown siya. Tikilay na tayo. So, yun. Pahintayin ko na lang siya ulit mamaya. Pero, yan yung katapusan. Itong kilay kong to, talagang mataas siya kaysa dito. Kaya, kailangan talaga pinapantay ko. Medyo tinataas ko itong kilay kong to. Ang ginagawa ko afterwards, I'm actually using concealer. Same thing, the tart one. Then, I'll just try to like, clean the edges. So, you can have a more defined eyebrows if you want to. So, ayan. You can also clean the top part kasi minsan, di ba, hindi natin maiwasan yung mapasobra. Kaya, don't worry if you made it like too like thick or something. So, ang sunod kong gagawin is my eyeshadow. So, ang gagawin ko lang, I will use this MAC. Um, this is the Soft Acre. Is that how you pronounce it? The soft Acre Pro Longwear Paint Pad. Ito lang yung itsura niya. Super liit niya. So, I just use my pinky finger. I use this on my eyelid to have that base before you put your um, eyeshadow. Tapos, yan. Mag-start na tayo. Usually, I use this James Charles palette. I love this palette because it almost have every color. And if you're going somewhere, this is like your go-to. So, gamitin ko lang tong brush for Morphe, I believe. Start na tayo. Yung next ko naman gagamitin para sa eyeshadow ko is this Bretman Rock Wet and Wild Jungle Rock Palette. So, yan. So, you can see, hindi ko pa siya nilalaan ng tatanggal sa case niya. But, yan. Yan, oh. Grabe, diba? It's so pretty. Ito yung first time na gagamitin ko siya. May tip pa siya. Tanggalin natin. So, ayan. Look how pretty the colors are. Oh my God! Wow! Ang gagamitin kong color from this palette is this one and maybe this or the gold one. So, gamitin natin yung pink na yan. So, ayan. So, gagamitin ko lang yung same concealer. Nagawa ko na yung eyeshadow ko. Tinanggal ko na din yung robe ko para mas makagalaw ako ng ayos. So, for my mascara, I am using this perversion that is from Urban Decay. Yan yung gamit ko na mascara. So, actually, I really love this one. This is my favorite because it's just like volumized my lashes. This is what it looks like before. So, this is my eyes. Looks like with the mascara. I actually don't need any eyeliner to make it like look so thick because the mascara did it already what i'm gonna do next is my contour or my bronzer and what i usually use is this kkw beauty this is the shade medium this is the powder contour and highlight kit this is what it looks like as you guys can see bago pa siya kasi ito yung luma ko nabagsak siya so, tignan nyo kung gano'n ko siya naharas. Kasi sobrang gamit ko siya. Tapos, pag nagtatravel ako, ito din yung gamit ko. Kaso, yun nga, nung nagtravel ako once, I think when I went to uh, Louisiana, I was with my friends. And I brought this with me. And when I opened it, it was actually broken. You wanna guys see it? And I actually tried to use it. This is really like how it looks. So, I don't wanna use it because I don't want that mirror. It's really terrible. But I feel like, if I clean this, I can still like use these three things right here. The lighter contour and like these two highlighters. Because this is the only one that is actually really broken. But actually the mirror, so I actually have to do something with this. So I can use it. I have an extra one that I got. 
Um, so this is it. So I'm using this one. So next one, I'm going to contour. Conti, ilang ko conti lang. Then next, for my blush, I am going to use this Benefit Gold Rush. It's just so cute and it smells so like baby powder. But yeah, it smells so good. For my highlight, I'm just using this KKW as so, well. I'm using the gold tone, like this one. So I'm just using that. For my lips, I'm using this MAC lipstick in shade Velvet Teddy. I love this one because it's very natural. As you guys can see, it looks just like my lip color. That's why I really like this one. But the thing is, it's matte. So if you guys want some lip gloss, you can put it on top. So ayan, tapos na tayo. Ngayon, gagawin ko naman yung buko siguro. Straight ko lang. Or kahit huwag na. Hindi ko lang kung magkukulit ako, pero feeling ko okay na to. I'm just trying to make Ayun na nga guys, tapos na ako mag-ready. Nakapag makeup na ako lahat. Ngayon, tatanggalin ko na lang to. Wala, bumakot. Okay na to. Hindi na siguro ako magkukulit or mag-straight ng buho. Okay na siguro to. So the very last one that I use every time I do my makeup is this Urban Decay All Nighter Summer Solstice. Which is so good because, you know, it's so hot right now. The good thing with this setting spray, as you guys know, it's summer, it's so hot. So this will just help it to like stay longer. And also this is very lightweight so you don't feel like it's kind of thick or you just put something on top of your makeup and you can feel it. So this one won't do that. So, ayun nga guys, tapos na tayo mag-makeup. Ngayon naman, magpapalit lang ako ng clothes ko, then I'll be back. So, ayun, finally, tapos na din ako lahat-lahat na. Nandito na ako sa room ko. So, kung may marinig man kayo na kung anong maingal, galing yun sa labas ng bahay. Dito kasi sila ngayon na gagawa sa... Look, parang hinahati na ang bahay na magnamutan. So, ay ay Hirap pala nito. Andito na ako ngayon sa kwarto ko. Um, nakapagpalit na din ako everything. So, papakita ko sa inyo yung outfit ko. So, ayan yung outfit ko. Long shirt na to. Then, this jeans and this sneakers right here. Ayan. Tapos, ito yung bag ko. I got this one from Aldo. So cute. Let me just say that this is like a tan color. Yan. Diba? Sobrang cute. I also just want to share with you guys that I customized this t-shirt that I'm wearing using Freakout Machine. And it came out really cute. Ayan, finally, tapos na lahat-lahat. And I really enjoyed filming this video. So, ayun nga guys. Thank you guys for watching. And if you do like it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification bell down below. See you guys on my next video. Bye!